welcome back to the unikaksha so in today's tutorial we are going to talk about one of the very very and very interesting topic called as linear regression so let us just move ahead with this topic uh so linear regression basically is a machine learning technique machine learning is nothing but a, a kind of technique where you try to train your machine giving a lot of examples like a data and you train that data using some algorithms there are a lot of machine learning algorithms available out of which we are going to discuss one of the very famous supervised machine learning algorithm that is linear regression now you might be wondering what the supervised machine learning is so supervised machine learning is that type of machine learning where you provide the data along with its output so when you're having the input data you're having the output data you simply try to find out what's the function that changes your input to the given output once you get that then once the function is you know retrieved from that data you can use that function with any input data in the future and get the expected output this is basically what we mean by predictive modeling technique so for linear regression it's required that you should be having the historical data along with its actual output so that you can establish relation in between the input and output data you might be wondering what is input and output data i am constantly talking about so for an example if you are having the output data of house prices then its respective input data elements will be square feet number of rooms distance from nearest railway station distance from nearest hospital distance from nearest school number of uh, floors a particular apartment do have uh the amenities such as whether there is any gymnasium area provided swimming pool provided the other amenities which are provided by the builder so these are basically the variables that impact on the house price so your house price becomes output variable and all these other variables becomes input variable for us fine so let us just uh, understand what what's basically the machine learning in slight depth so that we can clearly move ahead with the concept of linear regression so there are basically four types of machine learning algorithms and yeah one or the other day we are going to talk about all this force and their examples so the first type is supervised machine learning where as i said we are given with input as well as with the output variable and we have to find out the relation in between those input and output variable that means we need to find out a function that derives the given output provided the given input variables there is something which is called as unsupervised where the variables are not categorized as input and output all variables are treated similarly we try to find out the observations which are maximum similar and then we try to create a segment out of it then comes semi supervised uh, kind of methods where it's a combination of supervised and unsupervised where your some of the data will have the output labels some data will not have the output label and finally comes the reinforcement type of methods wherein we try to create the optimum uh kind of results given by the algorithm by evaluating that algorithm again and again till it gives you the best possible outcomes for the future so these are basically the types of machine learning algorithms out of which the current topic that we are going to take linear regression that comes under supervised machine learning technique in supervised machine learning technique there are basically two types regression and classification whenever it comes to regression the output variable is continuous in nature and whenever it comes to classification the output variable is categorical in nature so for linear regression as it's a type of a regression now it's very much clear that it is going to have a supervised data that's the data with the input and output variables and my output variable is going to be continuous or numerical in nature there are two types of regression as well one is called as linear one is called as non linear how to identify the difference among them so if your data that is if your input variables are linearly dependent on your output variable we go for linear regression kind of technique how to identify that it's very simple for example increase in the square feet is going to increase the house price so there is a relation there is a direct linear relation increase in the distance from the nearest railway station will decrease the house price again there is a linear relation but this time there is a inverse linear relation so if your data elements are providing you the information regarding to the linearity of the variables we go for linear regressions but every time it's not necessary that you will get a data which will be there in this pattern 
which is showing a linear relationship among input and output variables. So if my data is not showing the linear kind of relationship, then just don't worry. You can use any of non-linear regression technique. Whenever it comes to linear regression, again, there are two types of linear regression as well. One is simple linear regression, one is multiple linear regression. In simple linear regression, we are given with one input and one output variable, but in multiple linear regression, we'll be having one output and multiple input variables. So for example, predicting the house prices using just the square fit will become an example of simple linear regression and predicting house prices using square feet, number of rooms, distance from the stations, the, the amenities which are provided, if you are taking all this huge amount of data in order to predict the house price, it will become multiple linear regression. Obviously, multiple linear regression is going to give you more accurate answers as compared to that of the simple linear regression. The reason is you are having more data and at the end, you are implementing machine learning. Machine will learn better if you are providing more data in terms of rows as well as column to your machine. So for linear regression, your y variable or output variable or dependent variable is continuous in nature. Your x variable or input variables or independent variables are numerical or categorical in nature. Your variables should have a linear relationship. That means your input variables must be linearly dependent on your output variable and data should be normally distributed. So there should not be any skew present in your data. So these are some of the you know, uh, things that you have to consider before implementing the linear regression on your data. This goes the equation of a linear regression, which is y is equal to b0 plus beta 1x1 plus beta 2x2, so n up to beta in x10. So if I consider only simple linear regression, the equation is shortened to form y is equal to b0 plus b1x1 plus error. If you simply try to relate this equation to the equation of line, they are very much similar because equation of line goes as y is equal to mx plus c. In this case, the value of beta naught indicates y-intercept, that is nothing but where my line cuts y-axis. x1, x2, x3, up to xn, represents your input variables or independent variables, wherein y indicates your output or dependent variable. b1, b2, b3 are nothing but the coefficients associated with every variable. So in simple term, you can call them as a slope. That means change in the value of x1 or x2 how it will impact on the value of y will be assessed using the value of beta 1 and beta 2 respectively. How to find out the line or the best fitting regression line for a linear regression? So as you can see in this diagram on the x-axis and y-axis, we have the points wherein the value of y indicates the actual value of your y variable or dependent variable and value of x is nothing but an independent variable. As it is a supervised machine learning, in the historical data, you will be provided with the value of x as well as with the value of y. So you can easily plot points like the ones which are uh, you know, represented by those uh, blue circles. Then you have to find a line which passes through the maximum number of points or which is closest to the maximum number of points. When you find out such line, Obviously, the line will have a least amount of error present in it. What I mean by this, as you can see, this xi represents the actual value of x and this yi represents its respective actual value of y. But when you are predicting the value of y using the equation of line, that will be predicted somewhere over here, that is on the line. So the difference in between the actual y and predicted y will become error for us. So we are going to calculate all such errors then we are going to find out the square of all those errors and we'll take a summation of all those squares. So the sum of squares is called as your uh, you know, uh, error, a total error that is present inside the data. The line or the regression line that will provide you the least amount of sum of square is considered to be the best fitting regression line for the given data. And that line is used for the future purpose in order to predict the values in your uh, you know, future input data. So this is a nutshell how linear regression works. So I just hope you understood what the linear regression is, what are the different types of machine learning algorithm, what is supervised in detail, what are the types of linear regression, what is simple and multiple linear regression, 
along with its USP, that is nothing but ordinal least square method. Thank you for patiently watching this video. In the next video, we'll come up with this different technique of machine learning algorithm. Till the time, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.